welcome back to the channel. Today, Mom and I are back with another Am I the Antagonist post, so let's hop right in. Am I the Antagonist? For not being happy, my girlfriend is going on vacation paid for by another man. My 22-year-old male's girlfriend, 21-year-old female's best friend, 21-year-old female, babysits for a very wealthy divorced man, 40-year-old male. He is going on vacation to Hawaii and is hiring the best friend to babysit there for a few days. He has paid for her stay at a luxury hotel for a week and is giving her an extra 2K on top of her normal pay for the troubles. He told her she can bring a plus one. She chose to invite my girlfriend along, which I'd have done the exact same thing in her shoes. My girlfriend planned on flying standby there since she works for an airline. Upon hearing that my girlfriend is going standby, the man bought my girlfriend confirmed tickets to Hawaii and back. From my perspective, I see many red flags, as I believe men usually gift girls things when they want or expect something in return. I'm a huge fan of experiences and fully appreciate the opportunity to travel for free. However, I am not naive. And I know usually men don't just fly attractive women along with them on vacation for nothing. I believe it's valid to not be a fan of it, especially since I've never met the guy. Part of me is hurt too since my girlfriend and I went to Hawaii earlier in the year, but stayed within our budgets, staying at a hostel and not a fancy resort. Okay. <laughs> okay. It makes me wonder why am I here if she will just accept a super fancy vacation from another man while I'm at home working to save for our future and pay for travel for the two of us. Thoughts? It sounds like he's got some jealousy issues here you know, because um, she is going with her best friend and maybe the best friend is more comfortable having another female there so that the boss maybe won't hit on her and the boss might not have ideas. So I think the babysitter is more at risk um, of being hit on than his girlfriend and if they're there seeing after this guy's kids he's probably what guy takes <laughs> beautiful women on a trip to watch his kids just so he can hit on them that that doesn't even make any sense to me yeah i'm definitely <laughs> sensing a lot of insecurity mm -hmm. on op's part and I kind of get it. Like at 22, you just don't have a lot. <laughs> you just don't have a lot. And he probably feels like, oh, this guy is like providing something that he would love to offer his girlfriend and he can't afford to do so. So the, I think there's like the insecurity piece of it. Sorry, mom. <laughs> there's the insecurity piece of it. And then there's also the jealousy aspect that he didn't get to go on a luxurious vacation. And he's thinking of it as like, she's getting perks for being an attractive girl but it doesn't sound like um her best friend's employer said choose your hottest friend to come on vacation <laughs> like I said pick a plus yeah. one and she like chose her friend which makes sense but choose your best friend in that situation so I think his perspective how he's viewing it is just so skewed and distorted because yeah. he feels jealous and he feels insecure and I definitely understand where those feelings are coming from but he should also trust his girlfriend even yeah. if the guy was kind of creepy she can say no I just said if he trusted his girlfriend he wouldn't be nearly as worried because he though she wouldn't just go after that guy because he has money no right I don't think he has anything to worry about here I'm pretty sure if the shoe was on the other foot and he was invited for something like this he would take it <laughs> like do you think he would be like no because you just go on limited budget vacations with my girlfriend so I'm not gonna go I don't think so I think he would go so, um, I do think he's the antagonist, like, I'm just thinking about it more. Yeah. I think, like, the whole perspective, the lack of trust in his girlfriend, because this seems like a perfectly reasonable situation. It's not like a man just offered to take his girlfriend on vacation. Right. What do you think? Um, I mean, she was going to go anyway on standby, so it's nice that she doesn't have to risk being, like, booted from a flight because there's no room. Yeah. And all. So, yeah, it, this is perfectly innocent. Yeah, so... Oh. <laughs> oh, that guy sure is the antagonist. Yeah. Yeah, so, um, just a little side <laughs> note. Uh, what do you think should be done about this? He said thoughts, so... Oh, 
I think she should enjoy her trip. She'll probably end up doing a little bit of work helping her friend watch the children. Yeah. And it's worth it for a nice vacation. So what do you think? So OP is the guy. So what do you think he should do about this? Uh, I think he should welcome her back from her trip. <laughs> Maybe you should go to counseling. I don't know. Probably pretty deep seated, and it's gonna take a long time to get over that. <laughs> so here's what I'm picking up. I think there's a disconnect between the insights he's giving in his post and what he said to his girlfriend because he keeps telling her, "I see uh, red flags because I know men don't gift this kind of thing uh, without expecting something in return." So if that's the only thing he's explained to her, I don't think he's really explained to her the crux of the issue, mm -hmm. which is his insecurity mm -hmm. and him feeling left out. Okay. So I think that he should sit down and explain the entirety of his feelings to her. Like, I'm feeling left out. Because he's making it sound like, oh, I'm just looking out for her because, mm -hmm. like, he wouldn't pay for this for no reason. I'm suspicious if that's yeah. the full motivation. But I do think they should talk about it because I don't think he should have to keep those feelings to himself. I think she should understand it and maybe she can reaffirm her yeah. devotion or something. Mm -hmm. Like, look, nothing's going to happen if he is a creep, I'll keep some money aside to go to a hospital, like whatever it would take to ease his um, his fears. Yeah. I think that would be fair. But he's still an antagonist. <laughs> still an antagonist. <laughs> Alright guys, we're gonna go ahead and stop it there. If you enjoyed the video, please give us a like and subscribe to the channel and we'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye. Bye.